Over to you, Dickie. <laughs> Gee. Well, her voice is like <laughs> mother's milk, isn't it, eh? Olivia's. Thank you. It is. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, look, welcome back to the show. It's always nice when you receive a call or a text from Olivia Newton-John, especially when she's telling you that she has some good news to share. I was delighted to help and a little bit curious. Olivia has, of course, been living beyond cancer, as she says, for decades tirelessly working for the Cancer and Wellness Centre in Melbourne that bears her name. Now she is launching the ONJ Foundation to take that research to the world in an effort to treat, prevent and cure all cancers. And she told me all about it from her magnificent home in California. Olivia, it is lovely to talk to you. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Richard. How about you? I'm doing well. The last time I saw you in the flesh, um, we were both supporting our youngsters who were uh, tripping the light fantastic doing battle on the dance floor that seems like a, a lifetime ago i know it does seem a lifetime ago it was wonderful i'm uh, and they were so wonderful both of them are so proud of my girl and your son but i'm really excited because this is my very first interview about this new thing i'm doing and you're the one well let's get into it tell us about the foundation because you you know your olivia newton john center in melbourne has been doing such great work for a long time but uh, now you're going global I'm going global. I'm so proud of all the work done at the ONJ that's run by Austin Health and the Cancer Research Institute, but I want to take the ideas that I have global, and the idea is my dream is to find kinder therapies for cancer, because having been on this journey for 28 years myself, and probably a lot of people are surprised that <laughs> I'm still on that journey, um, I want to bring the science to the different things that I have done to, to still be here and to find kinder ways to treat people. Not only are you still here, Olivia, I hate even saying it like that, but, I mean, you are such an inspiration. <laughs> you, you, you change other people's lives on a daily basis. You, you, I know you feel the love from a lot of people, but, but this, this is your life mission, isn't it? This is my life mission. I've wanted to do this for such a long time, and when I was going through chemotherapy and radiation and surgery, as I have done over the last 28 years, I've always dreamt of kinder ways that we can treat people. I've seen so many people go through these different processes and I know there are other ways. I know there are other ways we can research and are particularly interested in plant medicine, as you know, and so we'll do a lot of research into that. So the idea is to find the best researchers. We're gonna be starting in Australia because it's my heart home, and but everything we do will go global. You know better than anybody just what a insidious disease this is. It's just when we thought we had a new big C, the, the old big C just keeps on keeping on, right? <laughs> yeah, and that's the, that's the thing, you know. Now everybody is going through dreadful time and having to worry about their immune systems and very conscious of their health, which if they weren't before, now they are. But people with cancer have had this concern always. Cancer is, was here before COVID and it's going to be here long after. So this is the kind of, uh, there's never a perfect time. But this is the right time because I think people really understand the importance of health and the importance of natural therapies and taking care of your body. And we want to be a community. We want to form a community through the ONJ Foundation where people with cancer can communicate with each other about their illness, find out about other ideas and research that we're going to do to do the science behind all, this, all the studies that we want to do and give, get this information out to people and to let them lead happier, healthier, fulfilling lives, even with cancer, living with cancer well, living beyond cancer, which is our slogan, living beyond, as I have done, and I want other people to have that same benefit. You got out of Australia just as the world was changing dramatically in March and headed back to that yeah. beautiful patch of paradise there. You say you're doing okay. I, I, I think that's probably the, the best and safest place on the planet for you, just to be well away <laughs> from the rest of the world. And you, you are doing okay, Olivia? Yeah. You feel good? I feel great and I'm so grateful that I'm able to be in the countryside. I feel so, I feel so much for people who are stuck in cities or apartments or they're alone. And I know that you've been going through a hard time in Australia with a lot of lockdown and people are alone. And uh, I feel so grateful that I'm in the countryside and I have my animals and my husband. And this has actually been one of the rare times in my whole life that I've been in one place for more than like three weeks. <laughs> well, it's been a good <laughs> It really is. So I'm actually, I'm, I feel guilty admitting that I have enjoyed just being, having the excuse to be home because I can't go anywhere because I am like a lot of people in that bracket 
and with an underlying condition, so I have to be careful. Olivia, much, much love. Stay safe. And from all of us here... Thank you, Richard. ...to all of you, you look after yourself, please. Thank you. You too. And so lovely talking to you. Bye, Australia. I miss you, my heart home. Bye. Oh, my heart home. That's Isn't beautiful. she beautiful? She's so uh, lovely. You can head to onjfoundation.org to find out more about the research work that they are doing and the incredible work. She, as she said, it's her life mission to do what she's doing. Mm. She is just um, an amazing person. She's a yeah. beauty. Oh, An absolute beauty. Mm -hmm. I love she her. hasn't lost one no. millisecond of that. No. Millisecond of her accent over the years. No, I love no, it. She's we like that too. She's our, still our living. We love you, Owen oh, J. Love her. That was Thank a gorgeous you, interview. Yeah.